today, guys, I will be talking about problems with Madden 24's Ultimate Team's biggest problem, Ultimate Legends. Now, Ultimate Legends has always been a very great program, and in some way, there's always been some downsides, but I don't know, I feel like this year's been really lucky. I mean, you know, we've had a lot more diversity than regularly, regularly, it's just like, you know, a lot of defense and stuff. But, I mean, it's the players that they're putting in it, and just how it's pretty much a reskin of Legends, just higher overalls. I mean, look at it. Mo I mean, like, if we go to Legends program, a lot of players show up just again. I mean, I, I don't have a problem with it, but when we talk about most programs and how they add a lot of different people, how many cards do you think, how many cards is, like, for example, Cam Chancellor, you know, Richard Sherman, Fred Taylor, John Kurz, Dan Tiradoff, Devin Hester, and Ed Reed. They have gotten a bajillion cards this year. And I mean, we need to, like, go back to where we were adding new cards, cool art, stuff that was just fun. I mean, because, like, if we look at the differences between Madden 22 and 24, it's a lot. I spent no money on that Madden 22 team, and it was a lot of fun. I mean, week one, it was really solid without to, like, I think maybe, like, probably week 10. This is where we started seeing gold mines, I believe. Yeah. And it just felt like they're giving cards to players who have a bajillion cards over the years. I mean, yeah. I think Mark Bavero and Jeremy Mayo, this was a good week. I think not because of how the cards played, but just balancing out between who they're making cards for. Ray Lewis, he has seen enough cards, I feel like, throughout the past couple of years. He's had that team. How did Andrew Luck is? I mean, like, he was a good quarterback. He had a good team, though, for a while. And people put aside a lot of stuff about him and think he was a really good quarterback. He spent 12 years in the league. He didn't really accomplish that much. You know, you'll have, like, some of these really good players. I do think you deserve doing this. And then just don't. Don't. This was a pretty good week. Week 14 right there. Week 15. I mean, I don't even know. If, I, don't even, I don't even know what this guy is. But, like... It just gets sloppier every week on how they do this. Because, you know, if we go to the auction block, like, if you go to the auction block on Saturdays, it is just wild how expensive these 97 cards will get. I mean, I'm talking about the Ultimate Legends ones. But you can just see this. If we go to program, we go to Ultimate Legends right here, there's a massive difference. It changes every Saturday. I think Andrew Love's card went for like 350 the 96 when he had, the right outside linebacker. It was wild when he came out. You know, you have just all these cards, the 96 is 97. They were full Legends, and for some reason, they go for like practically nothing. And then you know you have these dupe cards, and I don't know what the deal is. The older ones are starting to get, they're pretty cheap. But let's, let's just, like, look at all the different ones they have. I mean, it is wild the price they'll get. What is... Four... That is horrible! 435,000? That is almost half a million for a card and for a set. See, these people don't even use these in their lineups. They're not even for the lineups. They're so you can build a set. 400,000 coins for that. Let's look at their 99s. Let's look at... Walter Payton's. That's, like, you're paying... You have to let put two of those in a set? You're, you get absolutely scammed. I mean, earlier in the year, yes, I used to repeat the same set, so, like, a lot. Do not do this this year. It is right now, it is horrible. You are going to lose so much. Larry Wilson's 998000 Wow. Why is he so expensive? I don't... I don't think a lot of people say he's... 
But I mean, if you look at the price, you can just like get off this program. Free safety room is bad right now. But we're talking a limited cut. Like this Antoine Winfield card cost less than a Larry Wilson. And they get yeah, the Larry Wilson came out this weekend yesterday. But that is nuts because this is not, is it this is like an absolute stacked card. It's 200,000 coins less. More like 250. And you know, let's go to half that. You can get so much better. I mean, you can get Eric Dickerson for less than 300,000. And you're telling me you're going to pay a million for a wall pin. I mean, the sets are like. I don't. They just keep breaking. I mean, like. I think what they need to do right now is EA. This is a major problem. And if they're seeing this video, they need to see this. But if we go to the Ultimate Legends, you know, we, yeah, we're, we want sets. Yes. Program Ultimate Legends version. It's done here. Let's see how, like, and 296s, which I mean, that's practically nothing really right now. I mean, I think that's like 60k or something. 120k. But then you look at this. Four hundred k for one. For one wall pin. That's 800k. You're paying 920,000 for this set. For half that card. I mean... You can do what you want with your coins and stuff, but when we look at every other 99 gold set, I think there is, like, on the thing, they are never that expensive. I mean, this, the, the, the newer, really, these ones will probably, but, I mean, really, it's not that much. That's, like, 120k plus 130k. Well, so... 260, 390, 120. You're paying still 300,000 less for like our typical 99 set. And if you, you like, I think the sets have just been bad the way they're making them. I mean, these draft ones, they were, it was hard to, it's hard to find these. And they're like, at points, they could be like 200k. They're not, I guess they probably went down a lot, but. When the whole thing came out, they were like not even, just, you can't find them. I mean, yes, we're at the end of the battle, but. I mean. And then, you know, they're like, if you want to make coins, I gotta spend money. You know, they, they say the odds. I don't think the odds are right. I have done, I think, three of these like type of opportunity packs and i mean it is true that the odd isn't technically true that you're gonna get that that that's the it can just happen like that but they're not true either way i would say it says 49 percent you're looking probably more of a 20 percent i mean these gold things are horrible it's 30 percent thing yeah, 3%. It's more like 10, so you're not pulling them from them. Like, oh, you're gonna get a good card. Not really. 96 elite for a pass. You're sending practically 17 bucks for to get something that's now worth literally nothing. I mean, it's the whole plan what they do. 98 elite used to be, what, a couple hundred thousand. We're down to 136,000. Just look, we're not even, we're not even filtering down. You can find way less filtering down, and I'm telling you, if you're buying something, don't do it from just looking at the overalls, but filter down. If you can, do, this is all you have to snipe. You have to do it like this. You have to go through positions and stuff. Oh, they're expensive. I should probably sell my Jake Ferguson. Well, it's still like considered an expensive card. Cause I, cause you, the 99s, I'm telling you this right now, 
They're gonna be worth nothing in a week. I mean, I think I, in like three days. I mean, the whole Ultimate Legends program generally ruined, I think, Madden this year. For me, it did at least. I mean, yeah, they're gonna go down in price, but when you pay, and you're talking like two months ago, when a 96 costed literally 500,000, a 97 cost maybe 600,000. I mean, yeah, but it, like, once Ultimate Legends came out, it went to 100k. And I mean, it's just the price that I feel like. They should have minned them out and like they should have lowered the price way before. Or way after right now. And I mean the Ultimate Legends program I mean yeah, it's, you got I think next year I am gonna sell the entire team before the whole program even releases right before it. People said to do that. And not really everyone did it. And I'm gonna. There is some I felt not, but. I think. Just like. My backups right now. Two months ago were worth it. Like, if I were to make a team out of strictly my backups, two months ago, this would be a ridiculously overpowered team, to be honest. Deion Sanders and Keyshawn Johnson, that was an elite wide receiver duo for her at the time. Hunter Lupke, a lot of fullbacks were not having it over all the time. And then, you know, Emmett Smith, that's, he was the best running back in the game for a while. Really, it just, I, I think it's still an elite running back. The agility is wild. I mean, look at the base, it's not the best. Acceleration shines in agility is where it just peaks out. I mean, you can run all over the shield <laughs> with it. It's nuts. But it's crazy how much Ultimate Legends read a brew in this team. I think, you know... Ultimate Legends, and I'm hoping they, do, they fix this next year. But just get rid of the whole LTD release every week. It, I mean, it... it we, because it's just... When you have too many LTDs, they just go down in price, and it's, you know, what is Joe Montana at now? Probably like 10 million, I was him. 1.2. I mean, but the whole LTD release thing, in my opinion, is bad. You could fix this entire thing, because LTD straight up, I feel like when they started kind of adding LTDs into the regular, because they used, I don't, really they didn't used to have LTDs in the regular, like, I don't even remember. But a while ago, I mean, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, look at this card. This card was like three million at one point. It's nothing now. It's like you could get this if you're like your hour straight. You could easily get this. It's just everything though. But I mean, ever since Ultimate Legends came in and we started getting 99 LTD releases, and then we just had base 99s. How many 99s have we even had? You can't even count. What is it? 6 for 5, 6, 12, 18, 24, 18. Yeah, you, you can't count. That's gonna be it, guys, for this video.